Hi everybody, this is Rob from Somasim. Uh, welcome to our next devlog for City of Gangsters, which is the game we're working on at Somasim right now. Uh, as uh, you've uh, probably read about on our website, it's still currently in development, and these are just uh, very kind of short vignettes showing you the stuff that we're working on uh, and giving you a little bit of uh, uh, additional info as we work on things. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about uh, talking. We're going to be talking about conversations because that's a core mechanic in the game. So let me start a uh, loading up a save game so that we can illustrate what we're talking about, uh, as it were. So this is a game uh, that takes place during Prohibition, right? You're buying and selling uh, illegal alcohols and other such things, which are very much illegal. Uh, so it's not like you can just go and, you know, try to sell your illegal moonshine on the street or something like that. You can't go to a store. Uh, the thing about this game is that you gotta know a guy, right? Uh, in order to get anything done in this world, you have to know the right people. Uh, you have to have people who trust you, who will be willing to buy stuff from you, and so on. Uh, so I'm going to highlight a couple of different things uh, that are related. Uh, the exploration of the game world and conversation. So this is... Uh, um, uh, in my save game, Stanley Forsberg is my character. I have a crew over here. Uh, I'm going to leave them alone for the for uh, for this for the purpose of this demonstration, and just going to show you kind of the map. The way it's looking right now is uh, mostly unknown. Like there are, there are a few other outfits out there that I haven't really talked to yet. Uh, I will and there's much more stuff in this sort of sepia colored part of the map that I don't know about. If we zoom in. On the sepia colored map you know it's very kind of indistinct right it's it's hard to know what's going on there are, there are buildings but we can't tell what they are uh there's going to be some parks and some other things so the stuff that we don't know about we can do anything interesting with so part of the uh thing we need to do is explore so we're going we're going to be driving around uh have at least one of our people sort of drive around and find out what's what and he loses uh, action points on this and movement points because exploring unknown territory is, you know, is, is a thing that costs us uh, opportunities, right? We could be doing other things, but it's important to be exploring the city as well. Now, this is interesting. We uh, most of these corners are kind of useless to us. They are filled with buildings that are in this you know they're, they're not interesting we can click on them and find out you know this is a yellow cone small business here's some place called uh, Kuhn's german coffee and tea store you know and it says just another small business like so many across the city you don't know what goes on in there and you know we probably never will unless something interesting something relevant happens but here uh we drove over to this corner and we can see there are two businesses that have these uh, little what we call them guitar picks uh, and they're little, little uh, um, icons that say that there's something potentially relevant happening here in Rose Cafe and Meadow Soda Fountain so we need to scope them out scoping them out is uh, as simple as clicking on this button on this icon right there and um, it gives us two things one it reveals what this business is it's a soda fountain uh, and there's a sort of redundant information here as well. And when you click on it, it gives us a description. So this is a business uh, run by uh, Johan Lauritsen, uh, owner of Metal Soda Fountain, and the description is uh, going to tell us a little bit. Soda fountains are always popular with locals seeking a little bit of refreshment. This establishment does brisk business selling small packages from the back door in small dark bottles without labels. So that... Uh, from scoping out this business, we've already, already got a little bit of a hint about what's going on in this case. It looks like he might be selling a little bit of illegal booze or something like that. He's probably not going to trust us yet to do anything. We can. Uh, so this is a conversation window. Whenever, uh, whenever we click on a business uh, that is uh, interactable, something like, and we're nearby, something like this pops up, and we can tell. You know, he's selling. It, so we can sell him cigarettes. And maybe some other resources if he trusted us, but he doesn't trust us. Our relationship is zero. Uh, and indeed, we can ask him. These are our conversation options. You know, so what do you buy or sell here? Uh, and he's going to tell us. He's in the market for cigarettes. And then we get the little bit of extra description. He hesitates for a second. You get a feeling he trades in black market goods, but doesn't trust you enough. Uh, so there's nothing else we can do right now. Uh, however who knows maybe we can get an introduction from somebody 
that would make him trust us more. Does he know anybody who owes us a favor? Um, it, yes, actually, he does. He knows uh, uh, Mr. Lester Wolf over here, who owes us two favors. Um, so we could potentially get an intro. So let's do that. Um, and this is me, who knows everybody. <laughs> so uh, let's drive over to Mr. Lester. Uh, Wolf Brothers Tobacconist. That's right. Let's drive over here and go talk to Mr. Lester. Now, we can see from his icon, he actually has a lot of other things going on, too. Uh, and these uh, we can talk about at another time. But our conversations with Lester are going to be potentially more involved. Uh, in addition to buying and selling stuff, and uh, we can sell him a lot of things, brick, wine, cigarettes, homemade beer. He trusts us a lot. Our relationship is plus 20. Um, uh, we have a history of, you know, I helped him out before, um, he, and, and so on. So he, he likes us, he trusts us, and he owes us two favors, which is important because there's an entire economy of favors we can participate in. In this case, we can ask him, hey, we've got a good relationship, uh, help me out. And these are, here's a different variety of things he can do for us. And it's going to be varying depending on who you talk to. Um, in, this, in the case of this guy, he could potentially introduce us to a buyer for our booze. He could uh, give a little bit of support with a common friend. He could get us an in with some local troublemakers and so on and so forth. Uh, what we want is support with uh, uh, the guy who runs Meadow Soda Fountain. Let's see if this is possible. So we ask, I could use a bit of support with a common friend. What can you do? And here's a list of people he can help us with. And uh, yeah, Jan uh, Lauritsen is right there on this list. So let's do that. Let's pick him and say, hey, oh, turns out Johan is his cousin. That's great. <laughs> he says, Johan is my, is my cousin. That's fantastic. So he's going to put in a, a good word for us and Johan. And that's going to boost our relationship with Johan. Hopefully enough, uh, high enough that Johan will now uh be willing to talk with us about illegal things so let's do that i would appreciate that gesture uh great i'll go there as soon as we're done with this meeting and uh we can see that this uh has already this icon has already changed right we can see additional annotations about things that are possible here and an extra favor that has uh, been acquired and in these stickers uh, we can see yeah we've improved the relationship with johan so let's find out exactly what happened let's drive over to johan and say hey how are you so now we can click over here and we can see oh yeah our relationship is much higher uh so we've suffered a minus five penalty because he's irritable but otherwise uh, uh a mutual friend put in a good word for us so that was uh, our friend right there and also they've heard a word that we can be counted on to take care of business so unbeknown to us we've done a favor or we've done something for a family member of his uh and he heard through the grapevine that we're good you know that that we're solid uh that we can be trusted um so this is good we have we have positive relationship uh we have favor with him and now you can see uh one of these unknown resources unlocked moonshine so if we have moonshine now we can sell it to this guy and he trusts us that we're uh you know the in in doing these kinds of illegal dealings so as we go into the conversation we get uh he does you know he says he's interested in cigarettes and moonshine now and we do get a feeling that he trusts in things we don't know about just yet so there are resources that we haven't unlocked that we don't have the skills to either acquire or uh or sell uh by ourselves these are things that we will discover later in the game but for now they're locked to us but at least if we have moonshine now we can sell it to this guy uh so this is how we so this this is how we start building our relationship network uh we go talk to this guy and in fact he might be able to spread this network out further because now that he owes because our relationship is so high now he uh now we have a favor with him we can spend it and we can, for example, get him to introduce us to somebody buying even more illegal alcohols. So we ask, hey, uh, do you know anybody buying what I've got or selling what anything I need? And he says, yeah, I do indeed know somebody who would buy that booze you have lying around. You should meet my friend Thomas. And 
Turns out the guy next door, literally across the street, <laughs> is his friend, and he trusts him. So yes, let's spend this favor, uh, get an intro, and just across the street, turns out the owner of Rose Cafe, which we didn't know about, Thomas Jurgensen, uh, now also trusts us because of this intro, and it turns out he's willing to buy hard cider from us. So this is perfect. We have now a, we have made two friends who are willing to buy our uh, illegal product that we that we're selling, um, and we're off to a good start. So this is a very quick intro to uh, what it's like to be driving around, meeting people, discovering new parts of the city, and figuring out what's what. And I'm going to um, uh, stop this uh, for today uh, right here. And uh, next time we're going to talk, come back and talk about other aspects of the game. So thank you very much uh, for uh, checking this out. And uh, uh, we'll be showing you even more stuff next time. Thank you.